And as I said earlier, Nigeria is hoping to secure about $500 million in loan from the World Bank to actually see to its uh, water and irrigation project. And that is a big one for Nigeria when it comes to water safety and the issues around irrigation and, of course, improving the agricultural landscape of the country to ensure that these things are well in place to mitigate the issues around drought and other issues that have affected or plagued the country in a couple of years back. Now, I have Dr. Samson Simon, our Chief Economist to ARC Economics and Data Limited, uh, that will be talking to us uh, on this. Thank you so much, Dr. Simon, for joining us. Thank you for having me. Good morning, Lekon. Good morning, Nigerians. Uh, good morning to you. Uh, good morning to you too. Now, uh, based on the reports, uh, what are the economic benefits of even improving dam safety in Nigeria? We'll start from there. Well, um, you know what happened um, two years ago. Uh, we had floods, and um, 10 years before that, we also had floods. And the, the floods um, two years ago in 2022 were worse than uh, what we had in 2012. And um, the authorities have decided to approach the, the World Bank for a facility, for a loan in order to uh, ensure that um, such things um, do not happen in future. And another thing is that uh, we are battling uh, food insecurity. Uh, we know Nigerians will say, Pimpa, oh, there is hunger in the land. And one of the reasons for this hunger is because agricultural farming has not been as effective. It has not kept pace with the growth in population. So there's a need to, to modernize our irrigation farming. And then our general water resource management. So this, mo this money is going into a lot of things. We have more than 400 dams in Nigeria. Most of them were built in the 1980s and the 1970s. And they need to be rehabilitated. And you know what we use dams for, whether for hydropower or for irrigation, or even to, to, for potable water. So basically, this facility is going into ensuring that these things are properly managed and um, they are improved. They are rehabilitated, they are modernized for the benefits of Nigerians. So doing this will go a long way. We, we know that we have power issue. It has been a recording decimal. And um, if this loan can help, we're not saying that 500 million will solve all our power problems, but it will help, particularly when it comes to the hydropower. For our food security, it will help with food production. And um, uh, hunger would likely uh, be, if not completely eradicated, at least be limited. And then for portable drinking water, not all Nigerians have access to portable drinking water. So if you look at it, the facility is really important for Nigerians. Okay, so do you also think that um, this particular investment that is to come to Nigeria will help it um, deal with the issue around drought also and improve the economic standard, including the financial uh, space or standing uh, of the country? Because um, it's not enough to have a dam to uh, have the irrigation system solved, but then how it would have a direct impact um, on the Nigerian economy is what a lot of people are also looking at. So I'd like to get your assurances on, on that too. All right, let me cite the example of 2022 uh, floods. There were losses to the tune of almost $7 billion. In Naira terms, you know it's a lot of money. We'll be talking around 10 trillion Naira because they're in the current exchange rate. So if that can be mitigated or if it can be forestalled, I think that will go a long way in impacting the, the economy. And then, apart from floods, also for droughts, we're talking about irrigation. And we should not just limit ourselves to rain-fed farming. We need to go beyond that. We need all year round production of food. So if your place has the issue of rainfall or shortfall of rainfall, then it can be irrigated. There's no part of this country where we don't have rivers or other water bodies. And if these dams around these rivers can be properly managed, our water resources generally are better managed, that will help us with uh, the problem of, of, of drought. And when there is food production, what is the contribution of agriculture to Nigeria's GDP? It's between a fifth to a quarter of our GDP. And if dams will be modernized, if food production can be improved, that will have 
a big impact on the economy. And Nigerians will benefit from it bigly. Mm. Now, uh, given Nigeria's economic situation and, of course, um, the numbers that you've mentioned in terms of um, loans being secured, uh, how does this loan even fit uh, into the overall debt management uh, strategy of the Nigerian government? Because that seems to be um, the big elephant uh, in the room. Well, uh, we have been accumulating debts. Uh, I was um, just discussing. Uh, our debts have ballooned in recent times. And um, uh, even though our... Our debt service to revenue ratio this year, 2024, is a little bit better than what we had last year. In fact, what we had in the second quarter of this year is better than what we had in the first quarter of this year. There's still um, a lot of problems. Why? We have actually sacrificed the debt to GDP ratio for the sake of debt service to revenue ratio. So our debts have accumulated. Uh, we are talking about 121 trillion naira. And what's our GDP? It's around 230 trillion. So that's to tell you that debt might have gone above the limit we set for ourselves of 40% of GDP. So that's a huge problem. And then the servicing of these debts too is another challenge. Even though it has gone down, we're still talking about 68%, which is quite outrageous and is not really manageable. Right? So it is a problem. but we should not be fixated on the problems. We should also look at the solutions. If we borrow this money, how will it improve the Nigerian economy? How will, make, how will it make Nigerians better? If the economy will be better and Nigerians uh, will be happy with food supply, with portable, drink, with portable water, and then better electricity, I think it's worth collecting or borrowing this facility for. Mm. All right, let's tie this around the issue around uh, climate change. South Africa is also having its fair share with having to um, deal with that in terms of um, securing funding um, to move away from uh, fossil fuel to renewable energy. And, um, of course, Nigeria has also been at the vanguard of this particular talk alongside other world powers. Uh, how do you think this project will actually address critically uh, the issue around climate change uh, for Nigeria? Well, um, one way of uh, mitigating the, the problems of uh, climate change is making the most of our water resources. And, and these loans are supposed to help us to manage our water resources better. It will strengthen institutions around water resources. It will ensure uh, better capacity building. It will ensure that um, our irrigation is modernized and uh, our projects are better managed. And then generally the dams are, are safer. All this will help with uh, the problem of climate change by ensuring that um, the seasonality of rain and also the floods and the droughts that we experience are better handled. So I believe this will go a long way if properly managed. And we know this is just on paper. These are the intentions. So we have to be brutally efficient in ensuring that the, the reasons for which we are borrowing these uh, monies for are actually achieved at the end of the day. Okay, you also mentioned uh, modernizing irrigation systems. I'd like to find out more about that, most especially how the use of technology can improve um, that particular um, area. I'd like you to speak more on that. How do you think technology can be incorporated into modernizing um, the system to make it more efficient? Well, um, this is um, the 21st century. We're talking about the fourth industrial revolution. So there's nothing that is as effective as um, the natural thing to do than to incorporate uh, technology into managing these dams. We're talking about dams that were not completed. Uh, we're talking about dams that have not been re rehabilitated. We're talking about dams that have not been made the most of. And there's nothing better than technology to ensure efficiency, to cut costs, uh, and to ensure that um, our floods, our droughts, and other problems that might arise uh, are better tackled. So technology will be deployed. Uh, we have modern uh, dam infrastructure. We have um, improved uh, hydropower infrastructure. All these things will, will fit into the Nigerian economy, and um, Nigerians should be better for it if these things will really be achieved.
Mm. Okay, uh, Dr. Simon, now this PIN project actually focuses on four critical areas. You mentioned a couple of them, uh, which include uh, institutional strengthening and capacity building, irrigation modernization, as you mentioned, uh, improvements in dam operations and safety and project uh, management. Now, one of the things that you mentioned while you were talking is, or the clause was, if properly managed. So uh, what is the best approach when it comes to managing this? Because it's not enough to just acquire the funds, it's to um, expand the funds in the right channels, monitor it, manage it to ensure that we get the best from it. So what would you say the best approach should be from government? Well, we, we, we tend to have this problem, and um, let me juxtapose that with uh, the Uncle Bolo's um, scheme. Um, a lot of money was thrown into that, and our production has not really improved by much. It has only inched up a little bit. So it's, it's easier to mention all these benefits, uh, what this loan can actually do. But in reality, we have to ensure that we don't just throw money at problems. We have to make the most of these um, financial resources that will be coming in. We have to monitor everything, monitoring and evaluation has to be a key part of the implementation. We have to ensure that project management is, is better handled by people that really understand it and uh, ensure that um, resources are efficiently used. So there should be close monitoring, there should be close evaluation, and um, the, the entire money should not just be thrown into it. It should be given in tranches. If we see results, uh, we, we give more. If we are not comfortable with the result, we look for ways uh, where mistakes can be corrected before the next uh, trial should be given. If that will be done, and um, it should not be done based on political patronage, not because somebody supported a particular person during the last elections, so the person should have the money, or because of your political connection, you have access to this credit. It should be open, there should be a level playing ground, and the, the first, the, the, the people that are actually the best to handle this should be given the opportunity to handle that. That way we ensure that uh, waste is, is brought to the PRS minimum. Mm. Uh, Dr. Samson Simon, Chief Economist, uh, ARC Economics and Data Limited, thank you so much for your time, for sharing your thoughts with us. Thank you for having me.